Hey, 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 it's your favorite host on display. I mean, I hope I'm your favorite. I could be putting words in your mouth, but hello, friends. I'm Sarah Priebus. Welcome to Display TV. We're coming at you live from New York City like we always do. It's fabulous Friday today. How's everybody feeling? We ready for a show tonight? It's going to be a really good show. It's going to be a really, like, probably the best show that we've ever had in all of the shows, which is really saying a lot because I would like to, I would like to think that all of the shows are very, very good. Hey, everybody that's tuning in. We got Lauren Killer here. We got Mel Reen. We got Nidnoy and China Thug and Maximus 44. LMG5422. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, I'm feeling the thing. I'm feeling the weekend, really. It is upon us. It is in the air. The vibes are good. But in the meantime, I got one last opportunity to connect with all of my display bees. Uh, but tell me, tell me, are you, how are you? You know, this is how I'm clearly heading into the weekend. How are all of you heading into the weekend? Is it a similar vibe, maybe? Are your spirits high? Your funds low? Your salsa medium? Which, which of the following applies to you the most? My spirits are high, my funds are low, my salsa is medium. Let me know how you're he heading into the weekend. Clearly, I'm high, and it's on life, friends. It's just on life. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling blessed, and um, I'm really excited, hopefully, to put you in the same kind of mood, because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to tell you how to earn money on display, I'm here to give away money and trivia, and hopefully inspire you a little bit and put a smile on your face. Yeah, that's right, trivia's coming up. 30 minutes from now, 500 bucks, we're giving it away. 47% of you are with me, yes. Well, if your funds are low, you are in the right place because this is where we teach you how to earn money on display and give away money, like I already said, so good. There, there is a place for everybody here that just commented on any answer. Medium salsa, you're in the right place. Low funds, you're in the right place. High spirits, also in the right place. Oh, you know why I'm feeling good? It's April. To me, April is the first month that like actually feels like spring. Like March, I know is it's, it's the first day of spring, but like it doesn't really feel like a spring month. I don't consider it that. April, I'm like, okay, we're moving and grooving closer to the summer, you know? We got the Easter Bunny coming soon. We got birthdays in my family. Does anybody in the chat have a birthday coming up in April maybe or some other celebration happening? Hey, Nikki D, good to see you. Hi, Just Can. Hello, hello, Quiz Paparazzi. We're talking April. We're talking that today is April 1st. And do you know what else April 1st means? Um, April Fool's Day. Hello, it's April Fool's Day. Let's talk pranks. Did you play any good ones? I mean, if so, I, I have got to hear about it. It's one of my favorite holidays. Not to be punked, but to do the punking. So in which case, I would like to hear from you, which, what's your go-to, what's your go-to prank? You know, did maybe you pulled it today, maybe you didn't get an opportunity, but if you, if you had to, what's your go-to? Is it a whoopee cushion? Is it a hand buzzer? Is it a note on your back, or I, I should say somebody else's back, right? Or is it a prank call? Which one, what's your go-to prank if you wanna punk someone on April Fool's Day. Oh, you know, I never made prank calls as a kid. I always wanted to. Whoopee cushions now, that is a guaranteed good time. Those always make me laugh. There's nothing like a fart noise to just really cause a stir. Oof. Oh, who's got the whoopee cushion over there? I don't even know if they can hear that. Can you guys hear that, our whoopee cushion? Oh my God, that was not a whoopee cushion. That's disgusting. What did you eat? <laughs> oh my God, we ate the same thing. Your stomach is a disaster. Disgusting. All right, 42% of you said prank call, 35% whoopee cushion. We got a hand buzzer and note on your back. You know, honestly, my favorite kind of go-to prank is an emotional one. Like, you know, like the white lie kind of prank. I, 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 I was talking about this earlier. I think that's the best kind, right? When you tell someone news that's not true uh or yeah you just you make up a little lie right this is the only day that you can do that and that's like kind of acceptable although i do feel a little guilty sometimes when you do tell a lie and then someone's either someone's like really excited for you and then you reveal that it was an april fool's day prank and then they're like well that's uh, i mean like i wish that were true you know and then you kind of feel bad but what did anybody 
get pranked today? Did anybody do pranking? Throw those in the chat. A China Thug says, <laughs> my kids replaced my glasses with sunglasses on the night table. Oh, that's cute. That's a good prank. I like that. That's a safe prank, right? I imagine you got your glasses back and then you could see and you could, you could tell that they were actually sunglasses. That's very cute. I like that prank. Most arrow, tomorrow's your birthday. Happy freaking birthday. Anybody else? Any pranks? Did we? We didn't really do anything here yet. Mm, they didn't go upstairs. They didn't see what I set for them. I guess I just gave it away. That wasn't very fun. Um, hey, Tim Dozer, welcome on in. Okay, shall we get to it? Shall we hop to the show? Let's do it. We're going to talk today, of course, about the usual stuff posting, earning money. But it's also Follow Friday, which I'm really excited about. I got two people who we're going to show off that are doing a great job within the app and hopefully you'll add them to your feed or you know, you'll just get inspired for the types of posts that you want to put out there. But in the meantime, let's talk about how to earn money because that's what it's all about here. I mean, obviously we got this community. We've got a great place to get creative, but at the end of the day, this is the social that pays. So how do you get paid? Well, if you're posting and your content starts circulating in other people's feeds, that means you're gonna start seeing those dollars add up in your display bank account because in those feeds, every three posts from creators, you'll see an ad. The ad, yeah, the money from that ad, woo! The money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. Let me say that one more time because I kinda messed that up. Okay, so you got three posts from other creators, then you see an ad, three posts from creators, an ad. From those ads, 50% goes to display and 50% goes to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. There we go, she nailed it, yes. See, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, so that's the first way that you earn money on display. The second way is actually, it's kind of like how you help other people earn money on display, and that is by tapping the support me button. So that's a little yellow S, it says support me, it's on the bottom right of another creator's post. If you tap that, again, key formula here, you're taken to an ad. If you watch that ad all the way through, the money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the creator that you just supported. All you're doing is you're taking the time to watch an ad. You're not paying your money, it's not coming out of your display bank account, it is literally the time that it takes to watch an ad. So help other creators get paid. It's what you want, right? And I guarantee you, I know when I'm going through my posts, I'm like, who supported me? I'm curious, I wanna know who supported me. And then I'm, I'm kinda like going through that list, I'm like, that's who I'm gonna support back. That's just me personally. I do sometimes just give away supports because I, I want to and I'm excited for what people are posting or I see that they're you know making an effort to post. But like, a lot of times I like to, to go back and support the people who supported me. So make sure you're tapping that support me button if you want people to support you. It's the easiest way, seriously, I'm telling you. Do, do you guys agree with me? Okay, now let's talk about inviting your friends. We wanna bring friends to this app because that too helps us earn money on display. So to generate your own invite link, you're gonna go to your main menu and you're gonna tap invite your friends and then you're gonna use one of these three options. You're gonna copy the link and paste it somewhere else. You're gonna invite your contacts directly or gonna use the QR code. Now, this is important. Instead of just telling someone to download display, you need to use one of these three options because it's the only way that we can trace it to you. The only way. And the reason that you want us to be able to trace it to you is because you get 10% for whoever you bring here. If they're earning money, you make 10% of that forever, for a lifetime. Yeah. So no expiration date on that. You bring someone here, it takes them a minute to start earning money, to start learning how to use the app, you know. It, that's fine, it's still gonna be your money. 10%, so think about that. $10, if they make that, you make a dollar. 100, $10. 1,000, 100. I just wanted to prove to you that I could do math. But, I don't know what the but was. I already lost my train of thought. It's Friday, cut me a break. I lost my butt, I don't know what it is. I mean, my butt is, it's still there. Um, but I lost the train of thought after the butt. Let's move along to our next topic, which is posting. Posting is what gets you paid, so let's talk about the different types of posts. Yes, okay. So you know how to generate a post, right? And if you don't, great, I'm glad you're here. So you're gonna go to your main profile. You're gonna tap that little plus sign with a circle around it at the bottom. You tap that button and you're gonna have a bunch of options available to you, yay! 
Okay, so the first thing that you can do is you can take a photo in real time with that camera icon, um, and then you can just upload that to this site. Or you can pick a photo or video from your camera roll that you already had previously taken, and we're gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's tap the one on the top left corner, the snowy little photo, and you're gonna see that now there is a little green check mark there, it means it's been selected, and we're gonna tap next. Here's where I encourage you to get creative, tell your story, say something, right? It's way more interesting when we know the context of the photo, why you're sharing it, why you took it, whatever, whatever you wanna share about it. So let's tap in a little cute caption. We're saying, yes, I need a jacket. Almost not, almost we're gonna have to change this photo soon because we're, we're finally moving out of this winter month. Now let's talk about visibility. Let's tap visibility and see what our options are here. So you've got public, private, and exclusive. Now public means that that photo is going to be available to everyone. Private means it's only gonna be available to your friends and followers. And exclusive means that people have to tap support me in order to see your content. A little teaser, right? So they, they don't actually get to see you unless they help you, or see you. They don't actually get to see the post unless they tap support me and help you actually earn money on display. So again, I wouldn't do that for every single post. I would make sure that people know, you know, that you post good content. But every once in a while, if you wanna be like, hey, listen, I, I haven't been getting support. So I'm gonna put up something, like, that's kinda when I do it, right? It's like, all right, y'all, I've been giving you all my free content. People aren't really engaging and supporting me in the way I want. So now, in order for you to see my content, I'm gonna put up an exclusive post. You have to tap support me, and then you get to see it. So play around with that feature. It's a fun one. All right, let's go back, because we have some other options here, to our posting options. We're gonna tap text, which is on the bottom left of the screen. And you know, sometimes you just don't have a photo or video, or sometimes you wanna use your words and you wanna say something in motivational or whatever. We're gonna type happy Friday, we're gonna highlight that, we're gonna have a little fun selecting a color, and we're gonna choose purple. Yeah, we are. All right, and we can share happy Friday because that's what it is. It's, I've never seen someone write sad Friday, but you could be the first, go for it. Happy Friday it is, okay. Let's go to our final option here, which is going to be Dolby Live. So tap Dolby Live on the bottom right. And then when you're ready to stream live, you are going to tap the live button and bam, you're live in real time with your friends and your followers. And it's exciting. It's, it's a way for them to actually get to know you better. Cause right, like we see people's posts, we're talking in the chat on display, but the way that we're interacting now, like you actually get a sense for my personality. Or like, again, we had Heather King on earlier this week, the Owl Queen, you know, she is someone who's literally taking you along her photography journeys with her. Like as she goes to look for an owl to photograph, she takes you along so you can see her process and what that actually looks like. There's someone else who are actually going to be featuring in tonight's feature, Follow Friday, who was literally live earlier doing some behind the scenes of him doing artwork, which is really, really cool. So again, just think outside the box. You could, Jenny, I know you have horses, right? We could, we could do a little meet and greet with the horses. Like there's so many different options where you also don't necessarily need to be on camera. So get creative with that. I think it's just very exciting for people to engage with you in real time and get like a little bit more of a peek behind the curtain. Hi to everybody who's joining us. Wow, everyone's coming in all of a sudden. Hi Lang Louie, hi body. Hi, Jet Set. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to scroll back and see all the comments. Boop, your nose is here. What's going on, everybody? All right. Well, you're just in time because we've just been talking about all the different types of posting. And now I want to ask you, which feature are you most excited to try out, right? Which of the following features that we just went over in terms of posting are you most excited to try? Is it Dolby Livestream? Is it exclusive posts? Or is it editing tools? Which one has you, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this show to be over so I can try that out. Let's see, I'm always curious. This kind of changes every single week. Oh, uh, this is the first time in a while that exclusive posts is winning. I love that. Yeah, so again, exclusive posts, if you tuned in late, means that you basically disguise, camouflage, blur out your post until people tap the support me button on your post, so they have to basically help you get paid in order to see it. Again, support me doesn't mean you're paying them, just means you're watching an ad, and then the money from that ad 
goes to that creator. So that's sort of what an exclusive post does. It forces people, if they wanna see your content, to have to tap support me and therefore you make money, which is what a lot of us are here to do, right? And yeah, exclusive post takes it away. Now, if you are here to make money and maybe it's because of trivia, which we've got coming up in 15 minutes, we're giving away $500, you're in luck that you tuned in early. Early bird gets the answer. Yeah, they do. So basically what we do at this point in the show is I give away question eight. So I ask you question eight, you attempt to answer it, doesn't matter if you get it wrong or right, and then I reveal the correct answer and then you have it for the show, for the quiz, for the thing where you actually make the money. So let's do it, let's find out how all of you do with question eight tonight and then I'm gonna reveal the correct answer. Here we go. The character who famously says, I'm in a glass case of emotion, also delivers what other line? The character who famously says, I'm in a glass case of emotion, also delivers what other line? Shall we shag now? Did we just become best friends? 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Okay, so you gotta think about, obviously, who says, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Do you know this character? I do. I do, but I do get the answers before, but this one I knew. This one I knew ahead of time. So, okay, if you know who says, I'm in a glass case of emotion, but you're like, oof, I don't really recognize the other line, think about what this character would say. Which one of these would he say? I mean, honestly, he would kind of maybe say a couple of these, but let's see how all of you are doing. Ooh. Uh, oh, you all needed my help tonight. I like, I like these. I mean, I like seeing you all succeed, but I like when my help is needed, particularly on this question, because it makes me feel like we're doing a service in providing this answer here. Okay, so the character that we're, we're talking about here is Will Ferrell's character, Ron Burgundy, an anchorman, who says, I'm in a glass case of emotion. And Ron Burgundy also says, 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Only 20% of you got that. Ooh. Well, now all of you will get it, right? Anybody who's here knows the correct answer is 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. So if you were in that small 20%, tell me, did you actually remember this movie, this line, this character? How did you know this? And if you missed it, why did you tap one of the other answers? Should we shag now? I feel like that's Austin Powers. That's gotta be Austin Powers, right? That's my guess. Lexi28 guessed and got it right. Okay, Nikki D, you're welcome. See, this is why I'm here. Lauren Keller says, it is. It is the second line, Austin Powers, there we go. Um, but again, I feel like Ron, Burgundy character, Ron Burgundy's character could have said that, but he didn't, he didn't. So that's why it's important to know that second line, which Chaz didn't know. Such a good movie, it makes me wanna rewatch that movie. Veg Fried Rice, got it correct. Tim Dozer, guest as well. Roxy Velma says, I've seen Anchorman too many times. Uh, most arrow. I love it, 60%. Okay, there we go. Yes, that is correct, Fudu Ichi. The answer of question eight is indeed the third option. All right, you know what time it is? It's time for Follow Friday. Yeah, that's my cool dance now that I'm doing with Follow Friday. So this is where we basically highlight some creators, two creators in the app who are you know, engaged, posting great, consistent content, really connecting with the community. So I wanna show off two people who I love tonight. The first one is Marcio Design. Marcio is incredible. I'm sad he's not here because a lot of times he is tuning in to this but I will still honor him anyway. So Marcio is from Brazil, but he lives in Europe now. He's actually one of the co-chairs of our display advisory board, but he's incredible. I mean, he's, his hobbies are web and 3D design, um, and you're gonna see in a moment that like, I mean, he's just so incredibly talented as an artist. And I mentioned to you earlier, guys, that Somebody, one of the, the Follow Fridays was doing a live earlier showing behind the scenes and it was Marcio. So earlier he sort of was showing you his process, his creative process as he created some of his work. So let's take a look at some of that so that you can actually see. Look at this. <gasps> like how cool is this? I love it. This is, says love will win. 
um, which I love. I mean, this is just a gorgeous photo um, with the Ukraine flag colors. Um, and I mean, it's just beautiful, like that he's able to make these images. It's a whole like world of digital art that I don't have, I mean, I have zero talent in this, but this is incredible. Okay, let's take a look at our next photo. So this is the redecoration of his room digitally, incorporating a lot of the display elements. Very cool, I love this. Um, all the art on the wall, like his profile picture on the wall, like this is just so creative, right? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at our next photo. Um, gold and green, very, very cool. I mean, like, again, just the fact, this almost looks like a puzzle sculpture of a human face. Like, I truly don't even know how he begins to design these, but um, if you go head over to Marcio's page, you'll see that a large portion of it is just like dedicated to these original digital art pieces, which is really cool. Marcia, you need to turn these into NFTs if you're not already, because I feel like you can make some money with that. Oof, yeah. All right, let's keep it going to Steffi, our next from Follow Friday. Um, Steffi is an active display user who posts food and travel content here. You can see some of the travel content for sure. Just gorgeous photos. Really, I mean, just, I love this winter landscape. It's so beautiful. Uh, on the next one, you can actually see more of a summery setting, but Steffi like just takes extra care with all of her photographs, right? Just like making sure that they're sort of like framed and well lit. Like, uh, again, if you just head on over, if, you, if you're a fan of, of landscapes or of food. There's all kinds of content there for you. Let's take a look at our next one from Steffi. We got this. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Fresh fruit, yum. Some coffee, breakfast in bed, sign me up. Can someone deliver breakfast in bed to me tomorrow? It's Saturday, I need that. Okay, and then finally from Steffi, we got this. Is that dessert or is that breakfast? I mean, I will eat dessert for breakfast, right? French toast, pancakes, parfait, mm. Sign me up, yum. But like, as you can see, again, Steffi's super high engagement. Same with Marcio. These two are like constantly just creating quality content, posting consistently, doing really, really great work on this app. So yay, that's Follow Friday. Is anybody gonna follow them? Is anybody gonna go check out their content? I'm sad that neither of them are here tonight, but hopefully they're sort of setting the bar here so that you're inspired to create more content or you know add them to your feed. All right, everybody. I've got $500 for all of you. Trivia is coming up in seven minutes. If you can answer 10 questions correctly, you're in the right place. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.
Hey everyone, welcome to Display Trivia. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, and um, I want to kick off tonight's game with an update. Um, so we've been doing trivia here on Display for over a year, which is so crazy, and thank you all so much. We love all of our players. We're so grateful that you've tuned in every single night. Um, and I'm really sad to say that this is going to be our last game of Display Trivia. And I'm really gonna miss all of you. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do at 8 p.m. every night now. April Fools! Ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Uh, yes, uh, it's a joke. Display Trivia is not going anywhere. Actually, it's growing, you know? In the upcoming weeks, we, we're gonna be announcing some really exciting updates and surprises. But, oh my gosh! You should have seen the look on your face. I mean, I can't see it. To me, you all look like a camera lens with my little reflection on it. But, oof, yeah, you guys look good as me. Okay, enough, no more jokes. We gotta get this game started, right? It's, it's very not real, that was a joke, just to be clear, okay? Plenty of trivia coming up. I want you all back here on Monday. Okay, good, now that we've got that straight, I'm about to tell you all some very serious, <laughs> very important rules that you're gonna need to succeed in tonight's game. No joke, okay? You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just keep playing. Keep playing along. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. You're holding your phone vertically so that you can keep your eyes on me and on the questions. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting. You've got your profile all set up and ready to go. Speaking of which, who's ready to go? Who's ready? Kyella! I'm loving all the emojis in the chat. Thank you, Sanasi. Are you ready? Michael Roy, are you ready? Who's here? Who's ready? Jeff? Garlic, you here? You ready? All right, Eric26 is ready. Fuses is ready, but first, we're, don't worry, we're almost there. First, a practice round, okay? Tell me, would you rather pull a prank, pull up to the club, pull my finger? Pull a prank, pull up to the club, pull my finger. I'm really glad that it's pull up to the club and not just pull ups because honestly, I can't even do one of those. Do you, do you remember those fitness tests in school? Oh God, I'm sweating now just thinking of them. That gives me nightmares. I hope you don't feel that way about trivia. I don't think you do, but I don't know. Qu the questions are hard. 50% of you say pull a prank, which means that I hope you really liked mine. And I think it's time to give out some money. It's time for Display Trivia. Question one. The first day in April is also known as this. Fool's Day, Scholar's Day, Pop Star's Day. The first day in April is also known as this. Fool's Day, Scholar's Day, Pop Star's Day. Can you believe that we give these people their own whole day? Like one day to just be silly, take no responsibility for your actions. What kind of example are we setting for our children? You know, if we're gonna give out a day to celebrate fools, then I think that we need to, you know, even the playing field for some more respectable people too. Give them a chance to shine. You know, what about April door holders day? Or like April looks both ways before they cross the street day. April always wipes down the weights before the next person at the gym day. Like these are the people that we should be celebrating. Well, that being said, I mean, it's, it's a fun day. I had fun doing my prank, so you know, why not? It's fool's day, 97% of you got that. Question two. This is the part of the body usually cemented by celebrities outside the Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Elbows, knees, hands. This is the part of the body usually cemented by celebrities outside the Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Elbows, knees, hands. Is there a rule that says that it has to be this part of the body or are we just like kind of all accepted that that's that you, that's what you do. You know, like saying God bless you when someone sneezes or like pretending to think that your friend's newborn baby isn't weird looking. And it's weird looking. I mean, what could possibly go wrong about, you know, being honest with your friend about their baby? Honestly, Tammy, like she's kind of bald and she still hasn't said hello to me. So I can't say that I'm the biggest fan. 
But what's funny is this spot is called the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but most stars, when they get their little patch of concrete on Hollywood Boulevard, usually imprint their hands. It's their hands, which honestly, it doesn't feel very sanitary to me. But 86% of you got that. Knees? Where are we getting knees from, 11% of you? I want to see a walk of knees. Okay, that's good. Question three. Which of the following actors have never played the Joker? Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, Michael Keaton. Which of the following actors have never played the Joker? Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, Michael Keaton. Again, with a celebrating foolishness. You know, this used to be a country, a proper country. We used to watch Celebrity Big Brother as a family. You had to finish the whole 16 piece chicken bucket before you could excuse yourself from the table. Like what happened? Where did we go wrong? Was it uncut gems? Either way, I'm, I am ready to start celebrating serious people again. You know, real role models, like Dr. Phil, or Judge Judy, or um, Larry the Cable Guy, professionals. Michael Keaton has played Batman, but never Joker. And he's incredible in Dope Sick. If you're looking for something new to binge, highly recommend. 89% of you got that. Question four. Select the type of juice used in a screwdriver cocktail. Grapefruit, orange, cranberry. Select the type of juice used in a screwdriver cocktail. Grapefruit, orange, cranberry. Not screwdriver the tool, screwdriver the cocktail. Hmm? Yeah, I know. I keep extra juice boxes in my tool shed too, so I can see how this would be a very confusing question. You know, it's important to keep snacks on hand in any situation especially when you're working with heavy machinery. God forbid my blood sugar gets low while I'm working a jigsaw. Vodka grapefruit is a greyhound. A vodka crayon is a Cape Cod. If you're pretentious, please don't order it that way. And a vodka OJ is a screwdriver. 93% of you got it. Question five. What is the smallest even number to classify as a perfect square? One, four, nine. What is the smallest even number to classify as a perfect square? One, four, nine. That's a lot to put on a square, you know? Perfect? We gotta give squares more space to be themselves. Can, can you imagine the crippling anxiety that squares must feel to constantly be held to such a high standard, you know? Like why not instead of perfect square that we say always tries his best square or progress not perfection square? Am, am I being too sensitive? Tell me, am I? I'm sorry, it's just like, I know what it's like to have people always calling you perfect. It's a lot to live up to. My coworkers tell me all the time. A perfect square just means a number that is generated by multiplying two equal integers by each other. One times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, but four is the only even number of these. Did you get fooled? Nope, 92% of you didn't. And you're halfway there, question six. The French phrase meaning at the bottom of the bag is most commonly used in what setting? Culinary arts, city planning, modeling. The French phrase meaning at the bottom of the bag is most commonly used in what setting? Culinary arts, city planning, modeling. This is a toughie. This is a toughie. What's at the bottom of the bag that could possibly be so good, huh? The worthwhile Halloween candy? Wrong, because I ate it all out of my pillowcase while I was still trick-or-treating. But oh my God. Finding more french fries when you thought you had finished them? <laughs> that bottom of the bag is the best, yum. We're talking about the phrase cul-de-sac, which literally means bottom of the bag. But it's also the name for a street closed at one end, usually looks kind of like a circle. And coincidentally, the cul-de-sacs of my neighborhood growing up, they were always the ones that gave out the king size bars on Halloween. 84% of you, you got it. Question seven. Which spice does not come from the primarily reproductive part of the plant? Saffron, vanilla, cinnamon. Which spice does not come from the primarily reproductive part of the plant? Saffron, vanilla, cinnamon. Wait, <sighs> plants get frisky? Like, how does that normally go? One plant asks the other plant if they're in the mood and then, and then that plant says, nah, I'm, I'm too tired. Let's just watch Netflix and chill, and then, you know, they just never decide on anything. Saffron and vanilla come from the flowering part of their plant, ahem, <laughs> the reproductive part, while cinnamon is the bark of the plant. 
they say variety is the spice of life, but you know, I think spice is probably actually the spice of life, right? 85% of you knew it. Question eight. The character who famously says, I'm in a glass case of emotion, also delivers what other line? Shall we shag now? Did we just become best friends? 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. The character who famously says, I'm in a glass case of emotion, also delivers what other line? Shall we shag now? Did we just become best friends? 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. When a character or person says something famously, we call it a quote. But like, what about all the stuff that people say that no one ever hears? You know, I talk to myself constantly and there's tons of gems that no one ever gets to hear that I'll never get credit for. And you know, another issue that I have with, with quotes, like, is it still a quote if you're quoting yourself? I say no. You know, I say it can only be a quote if another person finds it meaningful. Wait, wait a second. That was really good. Did somebody write that down? Write it down. I think I just did my first quote. Will Ferrell as Ron Burgundy in Anchorman. He has tons of great quotes too. Like, I'm in a glass case of emotion and 60% of the time it works 100% of the time. Stay classy, San Diego, and you know, wherever else you're playing from. 86% of you, staying classy. Question nine. In physics, fermions are a name for all of the following except universities, Greek letters, direction words. In physics, fermions are named for all of the following except universities, Greek letters, direction words. What the heck is a fermion? Fermion, fermion? I, I don't remember learning about this in physics. But I mean, honestly, I, I guess I didn't retain anything from physics, so I don't even know what physics is about. What is physics? Things I do remember from school, though. Don't leave your calculator on your desk because someone will use it to spell boobs with the eights and the zeros. <sighs> okay. We're talking about quarks and leptons. And they have names like up, down, even charm and strange, but nothing after any universities though, like some elements. Ooh, 82% uh, of you are practically scientists for getting that though. And Brainiacs, it is time for the final question. Question 10. The synthetic food color blue number one is most commonly associated with a flavor inspired by what plant? Rubus leucodermis, Fragaria chiloensis, Actinidia hinensis. The synthetic food color blue number one is most commonly associated with a flavor inspired by what plant? Rubus leucodermis, Fragaria chiloensis, Actinidia hinensis. Whew, that was hard. That was hard. Mm, but wow, wow. The sky really was such a beautiful shade of blue number one today. Wouldn't you guys agree? And it's called blue number one because it was the first shade of blue that God made. And that's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. No, I kid. Blue number one is actually an artificial dye and it strives to mimic the taste of a drum roll, please. Ooh, that tongue roll, drum roll was hard. It's blue raspberry. So it turns out that blue raspberry is actually a real fruit. And I can say that personally, I think we all, that we all owe blue raspberry a really big apology. Cause like for how many years have we absolutely dragged blue raspberry flavoring? Shame on us, shame on us. Rubus leucodermis is the scientific name for the fruit called blue raspberry, it's real. The other two are strawberry and golden kiwi. And 81% of you got that? How did you get that? Mind blown. That's all, folks. That's it. We're not throwing in extra questions for the joke day. That's it. It's 10 out of 10, if you got it. I think you all just earned yourself an all-natural blue raspberry snow cone. How did you do? Brag about it in the chat. Who won on this fabulous day in April? 458 of you, apparently. Oh, my gosh. You came. You slayed. You displayed your knowledge. You are going to get paid. Ooh, 10 for Ashnor, eight for Hunt. Sama got a 10 out of 10. Nasu got a 10 out of 10. Marcelia got a three out of 10. Team Abdu got a six. Congratulations, everybody. That is the way to kick off the weekend. Go rest up. Happy April Fool's Day. And we'll see you Monday on Display.